What's up people? Doing another tutorial for you. This time in the Harry Warden costume from My Bloody Valentine. And this time we're going to have a look at the Bubba from Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. Now this is a video request from my buddy Crew Shopper Horrors. And I'm going to show you how I made this figure. So first off we'll take a look as always. There. Turn my light off for you. Okay, he's got his rake, he's got his straw, he's got his burlap mask, and uh, the costume was colour wash, so I'll tell you how I did that. Now, originally, this was a cream coat from the uh, Jack Bauer 24 Diamond Select figure, uh, and I just colour washed it with a light blue acrylic, did it in layers, and then heated up with a hairdryer and dried the layers. And then you get this, it looks like it's dyed, it's not, and it's a lot easier to do these kinds of uh, techniques. And it's less uh, less messy as well, I find. Okay, uh, as for the pants, they were dark brown, they were from the same figure, the uh, Jack Bauer figure. Um, again, just colour washing with the same colour blue as I did for the jacket. Uh, cut, you know, cut bits of... Um, Cut some holes in the uh, clothing for the straw to stick out of. This is real straw. It was just from a pet shop, you know. Uh, they just did various uh, pieces hanging out of the uh, figure. Uh, the shoes were already attached to this base figure I used. Now, as for the base figure, you don't need anything specific. Uh, this one I used was a Star Trek 12-inch figure uh, from the latest movie, the 2009 movie they did. Uh, it was the Captain Kirk figure, and he, they have boots attached to their legs already, so it saves a bit of money looking for boots because they're already with the figure. So, uh, so I did the, the uh, top. The brown top was from the um, Jack Bauer figure again, so you get all the clothing with that figure, so you're best off using that as your base maybe. And again, he comes with shoes as well attached to his feet, so you don't have to worry about much really when you get that base figure. Okay, as for the face mask, all it is is black material over the base head. And you tie it around tightly so it doesn't move. And then you do his mask then. Now, luckily I had this coloured uh, material anyway, so I didn't have to colour wash this. Uh, all I did was uh, cut out the piece I needed. And then drew on the eyes that I was going to cut out with the scissors. Did that and then I stuck it on the head and then tied it around with a bit of string around the neck and that's it and the only sculpt in there to do on this figure were the gloves and the uh, rake uh, I didn't have to do too much sculpting with the rake because for the uh, for most part of it there was just um, from a frame from the model kit frames that the pieces in model kits are attached to I just cut them out so it's like a long stick a plastic stick then they added for the blades some hard see-through plastic acetate you know it was from figure packaging and then I just uh, painted it enamel silver or grey you know and there you go and that is the Bubba figure uh, quite a fun one to make actually not as I said not much sculpting and uh, he's, a, he's a cool character, cool film. I suggest you check the film out, guys, those of you who haven't seen it. It's a really good TV movie from 1981. And uh, so, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all it is to it. If you've got any questions, you know, uh, don't hesitate to leave me uh, a message or a comment, you know. Cool. It's all cool. I just want to thank the people that have responded to these tutorials as well. I mean, I really appreciate it, guys, and I'm glad you're enjoying it, you know, enjoying watching them and things, and there's more to come. So, um, yeah, just a big thanks again, really. So, there's the Bubba. Hope you have fun making them, if you're having a go at making your own Bubba. Like I said, any questions, you need any help, uh, you know, I'm always uh, willing to answer your questions, you know. Uh, help where I can, when I can get online. Uh, so I think I'll leave it there for this video guys so just leave you out with me Prowler, uh, not Prowler costume, me 
Harry Warden costume. And until next time, just take care and best wishes.